Christopher Reeve, with that cute curl flopping over his forehead, was a familiar face in the late 70s and 80s because he was Superman. Superman was a hero from Krypton who was stranded on Earth and used his amazing superpowers to benefit humankind. And of course, in the films, he pretended to be a human called Clark Kent, as if donning a large pair of glasses would make him unrecognizable. Christopher Reeve made the part of Superman very much his own, appearing in four of the Superman films. His acting career, however, was much more than just being Superman. His first love was working in live theater, and he spent his late teenage years fitting acting around his college education. He spent time at Cornell University and Juilliard Drama School. While a student there, he became great friends with actor Robin Williams. 1975 saw the newly graduated Reeve acting with Katherine Hepburn in the play A Matter of Gravity on Broadway. Simultaneously, he held down a part in the TV soap opera Love of Life. In 1978, he had his first film role. It was a blink-and-you-miss-it part in the movie Grey Lady Down. He played a junior submarine officer. That same year, Reeve was to have his name put forward for the role of Superman. He was not an automatic choice, but the film's casting director persevered until the producers finally called Reeve to London for an audition. He got the part. At six foot four, he was tall and imposing, but slim. He needed to add extra bulk and undertook a training regime lasting two months. This was supervised by David Prowse, a weightlifting champion from Britain who went on to play Darth Vader. As a natural athlete, Reeve was not deterred by the running, weightlifting, and trampoline work he was expected to do. He had been an athlete in college, playing a range of different sports. He could also pilot gliders. Christopher had never been a fan of Superman on TV or in comic books. This meant he could approach the role with no preconceived ideas. As the role involved him playing a character with two identities, he found the part both challenging and satisfying. He was Superman, and he was Superman playing the role of Clark Kent. The movie, titled Superman, was released in 1978 and was a worldwide hit. It did well at the box office and Reeve earned critical acclaim for his role. He was awarded a BAFTA for it. Superman 2 was the next film in the franchise. It had been filmed at the same time as the first one. Originally, the footage was to form one film, but as a result of disagreements with the director and the appointment of a new director, it was agreed that extra footage would be shot and some of the original footage would be reshot. In this way, the original planned blockbuster became two separate films. Superman 2 was a box office success, but was less well received by the critics. Superman 3 appeared in 1983, and in it he co-starred with comedian Richard Pryor. While Reeve was praised for his role in the film, the film itself was panned. The same fate befell Superman 4 when it was released in 1987. The budget for the fourth film had been cut by 50%, and as a result didn't meet the production standards of the earlier films. As well as its panning by critics, it was also a failure at the box office. There were plans to produce a fifth Superman film, this time through Warner Brothers, but the fourth film's poor box office showing and Christopher Reeve's accident meant nothing came of them. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, hit the like button. And be sure to subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. And keep watching, because we're going to learn a lot more about Christopher Reeve. In 1980, Reeve starred in a fantasy movie called Somewhere in Time with Jane Seymour. Reeve loved this movie, often saying it was his favorite. It was initially a commercial failure, but over the next 10 years became a cult favorite. Video rentals soared, and it still gets played on free-to-view channels. In 1982, Reeve appeared with Michael Caine in the film Death Trap. That same year, he played a priest in Monsignor. 1984 saw him appear with Vanessa Redgrave in The Bostonians. This was an art house film, and Reeve accepted a much lower salary. The film was an unexpected hit and showed Reeve was able to take on roles far removed from his superhero image. In The Aviator, Reeve, who was a qualified pilot, flew a Stearman plane. His skill as a pilot enabled him to do all his own stunts. He followed that with more theater work and on TV, he hosted a documentary called Dinosaur. In 1986, he made Street Smart with Morgan Freeman. The film was loved by critics but didn't get the publicity it needed, so it bombed at the box office. His personal life took a blow in 1987, when he and his longtime partner Gay Exton separated. To alleviate his sadness, he took on a comic role in switching channels with Kathleen Turner and Burt Reynolds. The making of the film was marred by the arguments between his co-stars, and Reeve switched to theater work for the next few years. 
To distract himself from his family woes, he took up horse riding and competed in a variety of equestrian events. He also built himself a sailing boat, which he named the Sea Angel, and sailed from Chesapeake Bay to Nova Scotia in Canada. By 1990, Reeve was ready to return to filmmaking. He starred in The Rose and the Jackal, a Civil War-era movie. His role was that of Alan Pinkerton, who headed up the newly formed Secret Service. Reeve was next offered a part in The Remains of the Day. He felt the script was one of the best he'd ever read and jumped at the chance to play the role of Lewis. The film was an unqualified success, garnering eight Oscar nominations. It's still considered a classic. In 1992, he married his longtime girlfriend Dana, who was an actress and singer. Reeve then moved towards TV work, appearing in three made-for-TV films in the early 90s. He was also offered the opportunity by CBS to launch his own TV series. He declined as it would take him further away from his children. Two more films followed, Speechless with Michael Keaton and Village of the Damned. Ironically, Reeve then undertook some research into wheelchair use at a rehabilitation center in Van Nuys. He learned the best way to get from a wheelchair into a car. This showed how thoroughly Reeve would research a role. In this case, he had agreed to play a police officer who was paralyzed in Above Suspicion for HBO. Accident and Injury In 1985, Reed had to learn to ride a horse for his part in the film Anna Karenina. He loved horse riding and by the end of the 80s was doing eventing. After his breakup with Gay Exton, he spent more time on his horse riding. He bought a thoroughbred horse, affectionately known as Buck, in 1994, and began to train with him for events around the country. In 1995, his coach encouraged him to attend an event at Commonwealth Park in Culpeper, Virginia. The event combined dressage with a cross-country competition. After finishing fourth in dressage, the competitors moved on to the cross-country section. The third fence on the cross-country was 3 feet 3 inches high and W-shaped. This was not the sort of fence that normally caused horses any problems. But Buck refused just as he began to jump. Reeve fell forward, still caught up in the reins. He landed on the other side of the fence. Unfortunately, he landed on his head and in doing so fractured his spine. In just three minutes, the paramedics were in attendance. Reeve was having trouble breathing, so action was taken to get him breathing properly again. Everyone in attendance realized the injury he had sustained was serious. He was hospitalized and took five days to fully recover consciousness. He had survived the accident, but now had to face complex surgery and life as a disabled person. His initial doubts about surgery were soon dispelled, and with help from his family and friends, such as Robin Williams, he faced his new future with courage. For some months, he relied on a ventilator to help him breathe, and undertook specialized exercises for four to five hours a day to keep his muscles toned and supple. Eventually, he managed to breathe on his own and make some tiny movements in his fingers and toes. His doctors were amazed by this and suggested it had been achieved through exercise and determination. He was able to move back to his home but still required around-the-clock care. He continued with his work in the film industry as a director, actor, and writer. He appeared in Rear Window in 1998, remaking the famed Alfred Hitchcock thriller. On TV, he appeared in Smallville on two occasions as a doctor who proves to Clark Kent who he really is. During the last 10 years of his life, Reeves produced two autobiographical books. Still Me was published in 1998 and Nothing is Impossible in 2004. He was also a frequent guest on Sesame Street. On several occasions, Reeves suffered adverse reactions to the drugs he received. Every time he was able to recover, although on one occasion he reported to have an out-of-body experience. October 2004 saw him suffering from an infective pressure ulcer, and he was given antibiotics to clear the infection. Unfortunately, he went into a coma after suffering cardiac arrest. He did not regain consciousness and died the following day. He was just 52 years old. And so Christopher Reeve came to the end of his life. He had achieved so much as a film and stage actor that he will be long remembered. His smile lit up every occasion where he appeared. Do you think Superman was the greatest superhero, or do you prefer Batman? Let us know in the comments. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, just hit the like button and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.